Hello. Uh, I'm uh, trying to come up with a way to hang my steel target that I got. Um, I really don't want to spend $100 on, tar on steel target stands when I'm going to shoot the living piss out of it. So, I mean, I, uh, I got these right here. I got these target stands, which they hold up great. Um, I've only taken them out once, though. And they've been, it's been hit. It's been, uh, I mean, it's been hit all over the place. Try to get some focus. So it's been hit. It's been hit everywhere. And, and it's, uh, you know, and it, it's fine. I, if you see right here, I, I, uh, mark one of them rimfire only. Uh, this way. The holders from fire are fine. It's been holding up to, uh, actually I took it out twice. It's been holding up to Mosin's 30 30, 30 out 6. Um, but eventually, I mean, after a while, it's just gonna, it's gonna bust after maybe six trips, I'd imagine. You can see right here where it, uh, got hit. And each of these stands cost me, uh, I don't remember, 40 bucks maybe. Well, not including the, the, the targets. So I wanted to come up with another way. One way was um, getting these hot sawhorse brackets. All I got to do is buy a buy one of these. It's like six ninety nine at Home Depot, and you get two of them. And as you can see in this illustration here, it's pretty much a sawhorse. Now, on the saw, on the top part of the sawhorse right here, one right here and one on the other end, you are gonna put these little little hooks. Now, also, I want to save money by not using chains, because chains, if they get hit, it's going to break. And chain links are expensive. So, I've came up with this way to where you buy these, where you can buy by the foot at Home Depot as well. And I think this gauge right here, I'm not sure what this gauge, it's going to be either one of these two, because it's going to be either a 332nd or 116th. Maybe 25 cents a foot. I, as you can see, I bought a lot of them. For each target, you're gonna need two. That's fifty cents right there. If that, I mean, it was. Ah, this is fifty cents. Then you loop it around your targets on each on each end. Using this, uh, instead of buying crimps, just use these. If you hit your your uh, cable there, you'll just get one of your spares that cost a quarter each, and you undo this and replace it. You know, gotta recrimp it because those crimps are actually more expensive than these reusable ones. Same thing on this end. On this end, you're gonna hang it like this. So it's gonna be hanging off your sawhorse, just like that. Now, like I said, these sawhorse right here is $6.99 for a pair. Plus your 2x4. Whatever the cost is, I haven't got out to get that yet, but I got some in the backyard and just gonna use. These cost me about maybe 50 cents each. This right here comes with three of these. Comes with one of this, but I'm not gonna use this. I mean, I guess you can use this right here. I don't know if it's gonna chafe, but if it does, I mean, I guess you can use it, but I'm not gonna use it. So, and this clamps right here was about $2.99, I'd say, and you get three of those cramps. You know, you know, enough to do one uh, target set and have a spare. And that spare I just throw in the box. Um, the hanging system, uh, I guess, uh, which consists of these two cables and this, which will... Um, actually, you'll need two if you want to do one hanging system, one target. So I bought two. Alright, two ninety nine each. That is $6 plus about... $2 for the other hardware, the cable and, uh, and a couple of these. $8, okay? But then, that's uh, that's it. If you hit this, it's cost, it costs you uh, 50 cents to replace with your spares. You don't got to keep buying these unless you actually hit it directly. Um, I'd imagine you're not going to hit that very often, but if you do, no big deal. They're not, it's not expensive and it's cheaper. I mean, you're going to spend $20 in chain and links and stuff to hang these if you go the other way this is lighter it's easier and quicker to replace and it's a lot cheaper 
and there's less chain thickness to get hit so that's it I mean that's that's, that's the one way I haven't seen that people use this on YouTube so I figure this is what I thought about uh, I was gonna use change and I walked into the to Home Depot and I saw this and I was like you know uh, it's pretty cool I want to go ahead and just share this and you can you know just cut to lengths or whatever and that's about it uh, if you have any questions just ask in the comments and I'll be more than happy to ask I'm sorry answer I woke up really early today.